It's pretty empty, isn't it? I mean, if you look around, you'll see <laughs> it's nearly empty. Uh, it, it's weird because, you know, whenever you move into a place, you're kind of always expecting that you're either going to move out or you're going to stay there forever. But most often than not, at least in my case, is that I'm just going to move out. So it's very difficult to make some, uh, some place a home. But this felt like home for a minute, which is interesting now that it's so empty and I have a new home. But in the process that I've been like moving stuff around and doing my own thing, I've, I've been thinking about a lot of shit. As I'm like taking off the trash of my used to be life into the new one, it's interesting how you think about the most useless and absolutely useless of shits. And that's why I wanted to record a video right now as I'm moving stuff out of the way. And that is enjoyment. There are so many things that I enjoyed in this place and so many things that I absolutely hated. Not to this on this beautiful apartment complex. That is not that beautiful, but for some it might be. This is my view and that's my car right there. And my view was my very southern neighbors. But I liked it. I like the time that I was here enough to call it a home, but I definitely hated a lot of things as well. One movie that I absolutely loved was The Menu. And The Menu teaches us a lot about the pretentious nature that people have when it comes to any sort of artistic expression. You have snobby people, you have people with, with no regard whatsoever to the history or making of the art. You have other people that just pretend to be a connoisseur of the art. And then you have people that are just obsessed with the art and they will do everything in their power to mold their personality into the art. That is kind of the premise of the menu. And why am I talking about the menu? Well, because for a while, that's kind of how anime has been. At least that I've noticed in the anime community, and especially within myself, that sometimes there's a lot of people that just mold their personalities into anime. Like, yo, I love anime so much, and that's all I want to do, that's all I want to be. And they forget to enjoy anime. People force themselves to enjoy anime so much sometimes that they forget to enjoy it and they become overly critical of everything. And I'm seeing this so much in recent times with the whole political system going, the woke, not woke, the this, not that, which is kind of uh, disappointing because whether we have, as people call it, the culture war happening, doesn't diminish the fact that art is still being created in its own merit and sometimes without the effect or the introduction of wokeness or political agendas or whatever you call it. But people are so quick to look for it, to, to try to find it, that just because there's a woman, it's already woke. Because there's a gay character, it's already woke because of this and this and this. So I, I, I'm thinking, are people enjoying shit anymore, you know? And honestly, I'm kind of guilty of it. I'm very, 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 very guilty of it because for the longest time, I honestly couldn't necessarily find myself enjoying a show because that show I had to review for this channel. That show eventually would become a source of content for you guys. So I noticed that I started to like anime less and less because I was forcing myself to like it more and more. <laughs> Does it make sense? But now that I'm moving and everything, I've come to the realization that I love anime. I absolutely love it. And I love what I love, but I'm going to love it for the reasons that I love it, you know? 
a lot of people a lot of people trash me on a lot of my tastes like for example my controversial opinion that full metal alchemist brotherhood is okay it's a good anime but nowhere near the best and oh my god do i get punched in the nutsack for it or whenever i say that i think attack on titan is the lord of the rings of anime here goes a kick to the face for that shitty ass opinion of a goddamn mid show and i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't care less about it anymore i really don't so the whole point that i'm trying to make is that if you enjoy something be proud of that something be honest about yourself on why you like it and just enjoy it and love it and make that the reason why you feel fulfillment from it because you watching this video as well as me we're going to die one day might as well live the way we want to enjoying the things we want to if you want to go and watch Domestic Girlfriend for the fourth time, go for it. I will not judge you. If you want to go and watch for the 20th time Rent a Girlfriend or any of the other girlfriend titles that are out there, go for it. Enjoy it. Might tease you about it, but at the end of the day, you enjoy what you want to enjoy. And I feel like lately with this whole culture war thing happening, the, the anime community has been a little trigger happy to point something out and be like, no, that's mid, that's shitty, that's this. Like, the word woke for Western entertainment is the equivalent to the word mid <laughs> for anime. <laughs> I just realized that. Like, every time someone says woke, it's like the equivalent of someone saying, oh, that show is mid. Like, everything's fucking mid now. But, um, I guess this is more like a random thoughts, uh, random thoughts video than anything else, because I really just wanted to kind of tell you what's been happening. Also, if you've noticed that there hasn't been a lot of content, well... That's because I'm going through, I'm going through the, um, through the moving, I'm going through the, the, the stress that that comes with, and I'm still, like, I'm still trying to give you guys as much as I can, even if I can't. But, with that said, I just wanted to give you this random video, especially right now that I had it kind of fresh in my mind, and let me know what you think. If you do think that the that the uh, anime community has become a little trigger happy or if you enjoy things because other people want you to enjoy them or because you enjoy them yourself. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you sometime soon. All right. <laughs> Bye. Oh, by the way, this is my fish. Look at that. That's a Bashir. They told me that that fish, the Bashir, that little snake looking thing was going to be playful and nice with other fish and if you look up Bashir on Wikipedia the first sentence is it will kill anything that is slower and smaller than itself I used to have 10 fish now I have two all right bye